members of parliament swear an oath of office uh, and we're bound by that oath of office one of which means to hold up the constitution and the values of the constitution in what constitutional democracy in the world would an elected public representative be allowed to openly and publicly incite racial warfare the DA simply cannot allow this to happen and this kind of rhetoric has no place in our country we'll be laying these charges and then immediately we'll be calling on the minister of police Becky Kelly uh, to act against Malema and Paulson and ensure that their war talk incitement to violence and um, the fact that they are posting pictures on Facebook of uh, military-grade machinery and ammunition, which is in a violation of the Gun Control Act, um, are investigated criminally. Well, the fact of the matter is any incitement to violence in our country is, is a criminal charge. Uh, any any uh, fact that you have a, 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 a weapon such as an AK-47 or a semi-automatic uh, machine gun, no, civil, no civilian in South Africa may, may be in possession of that kind of weapon. So the fact that they're placing these pictures on, face, on uh, Twitter and openly, you know, proudly showing that the, the, these weapons are in their possession is, is a criminal offence. But most importantly, incitement to violence is a criminal offence. There's a series of actions that can be taken. Once an MP has broken the oath of office, uh, so ticks in a, a whole series of events that could, uh, if the member is found to have in fact broken the oath of office, uh, have them removed as a sitting member of parliament. And certainly uh, anyone inciting a racial war in South Africa has no place in the democratic parliament of South Africa. So firstly, we'd like the president to show some leadership in terms of holding people to account when they incite racial warfare. And we'd also like parliament to start using its teeth and in actual fact stick to the rules of parliament, which guide us very carefully in the way uh, you are to behave if you, uh, if you do not stand to the oath of office to which you've sworn uh, an allegiance to. Let's remind you of the question we're asking.